In 2014, we faced a big tragedy, the jail kind of thing for one day. E visa is possible. I would suggest few flight names. Keep sufficient cash with you. When it comes to dress code, while taking the luggage, there are two airports in Kuala Lumpur. Always share your flight ticket to your closed one or whom are going to receive you in the airport. What is the solution for this? Vanakkam, welcome to E to Joe. We all will be dreaming of traveling to many countries. If you are going to fly to another country as a tourist, especially above 20 years and 40 years below, that country will not see you as a tourist alone. They might doubt you that you are looking for employment in that country or some other purpose. In that case, what are the challenges you might face? Based on my experience, let me share with you in this video. Come, let's get to the video. If you are planning to visit Malaysia as a tourist, first step is to apply tourist visa. those days we have to send our passport to chennai or mumbai then get stamped but these days e visa is possible for applying e visa we can go online and apply with some documents the essential documents according to my knowledge is your passport size photo the second thing is your passport first page and last page is required while applying next the address of stay if you are going to stay in a hotel you can better reserve and keep that address while applying same time if you are going to stay in your friend's house in malaysia you can give their address same time you have to have some uh, proof of employment of your friend as well these are the essential document while applying if you have lot of time you yourself can apply with clear documents same time if you have less time you can go through some agent i applied through a agent called mr vijay he is from chennai he is very genuine and he answered all the essential questions and he guided me well so plan properly for applying to this visa next step is to book flight ticket once you receive the e visa alone please go for ticket booking while booking flight ticket i would suggest to book direct flight not to go for one stop or two stop flights while booking flight i would suggest few flight names based on my knowledge before covid air asia was one of the cheapest flight if you are coming by air asia please book luggage because they will give only 7 kg as a hand luggage but a laptop also they are counting thin 7 kg which kindly books a luggage separately if you are coming in air asia next flight is indigo airlines normal price will be there Next one is Malaysian Airlines. Malaysian Airlines will be little expensive. If you are looking for comfort and money, doesn't matter. Malaysian Airlines will be suitable for you. Whatever flight you are going to take, if you have lot of luggage like dresses and all, please book luggage separately. There it will avoid lot of tension. We have booked one way ticket. If you are going as a tourist, it's good to have a return ticket as well. If your travel is well planned. then of course you'll book return ticket in advance itself same time your travel is not planned well you can go for dummy ticket you can ask your agent and they will advise you regarding dummy ticket now we got e visa after getting e visa we booked flight ticket now what are the preparations for going to the airport keep print out of your e visa your flight ticket from and to ticket then your place of stay address better print and keep as we are going to new place we might forget the address name so better print and keep if you are walking in india keep some proof that you are walking in india where if some issue happens you can show to the immigration these are the important documents you can print and keep with you we are talking about the documents to carry to the airport kindly do your web check in with your booking number flight number you can do web check in when it comes to dress code i would suggest you all for casual dress please avoid formal dressings this is my personal opinion it might differ person to person if you are first time flying to malaysia then avoid shoes belt and all because in security check they will ask you to remove for ladies i would suggest please avoid so much gold or ornaments while taking the luggage please avoid all the liquid items in hand luggage basically we will be taking two kind of luggages one is hand luggage which we will carry inside the flight another one we will put in the check in better avoid liquid items like perfumes toothpaste any kind of oil things please avoid avoid power bank also because some flights they will strictly not allow if you are having a power bank and all please put in your main luggage same time check your baggage weight for example air asia as i said including laptop also they will count only 7 kg in your hand luggage check the weight before traveling it will avoid unnecessary cost travel date also will come please be 3 hours in advance to your flight timing i was traveling from tengasi my native place tengasi to the airport trichy night fully i was driving and early morning only i reached finding hotel near trichy airport i found lot of difficulty so please plan your place of stay near the airport properly be 3 hours 
before your flight timing inside the airport once we reach the airport at the entrance they will ask your passport and your flight ticket you can show them you can enter the airport after entering the airport we have to go for boarding pass we have to go through the counter for example i am in air asia flight so i have to go to the air asia counter they will check the weight of our luggage both the luggages and we have to drop our main luggage and they will give boarding pass i was taking only my shoulder bag it was more than 10 kg so they charge for each kg they charge 1000 rupees please check the weight in advance once we get the boarding pass next element is security check while entering the security check they will scan you as well as your hand luggage if you are carrying many electronic items like laptop mobile so please carry in a separate bag where you can keep in a tray separately once scanning done you can walk towards your gate you can wait in the gate for your flight the flight journey time is 4 hours for malaysia from india after reaching malaysia airport you will go to the immigration you will stand in the queue you can see foreigners name you can take your passport boarding pass with you please avoid the covers and all once your turn comes go to the immigration officer be polite i am not that much good in english even though you are not good in english they will ask very simple question like purpose of visit to to see places you can say next question they might ask stay you can show the address where you are printed or you can tell what is the address you are going to stay if they ask any other extra questions if you are unable to understand show them the written dummy ticket or the original written ticket to them if they are asking uh, more questions then you can show you are working in india proof if you are having you can show to them in 2014 we faced a big tragedy myself and my friend visited malaysia that time i was in employment pass he visited as a tourist with return ticket we both were standing in the immigration queue my friend suggested me to go first so that he can see my procedure and he can follow is what he said i also listened to him mine was stamped so i was unable to return back to the immigration he I went to the immigration and they asked him to go to the interview room he also went inside after that he was never allowed to enter malaysia told me so many stories that they will grab your phone many people like 30 plus were inside one boy room will be there for girls one room will be there all will be dumped inside if he speak too much they will give beatings is what i heard another important challenge is we went by air india express like this kind of passengers they will have only two slots in a day so 30 people means first in first out method only they will allow i book return ticket for him then we both again flew back to india and it is a horrible lesson when i asked for the reason for not allowing inside malaysia is insufficient cash but he had lot of cash and he had my maybank card also but they did not allow due to miscommunication i guess so what i would suggest you all is keep sufficient cash with you either in inr or in malaysian ringgit you might think this as a small thing but this plays as a major role see all these factors i am not trying to make you people scared but little be aware and be polite to the immigration officer it will be handled easily after immigration we have to go and collect our baggage after that small security check will be there where you have to put your luggage in that belt collect your luggage and walk towards the arrival once you reach arrival hall you might require sim card if you buy before arrival hall it will be little expensive after exit of arrival hall there will be so many shops so you can buy sim there there are so many sim card providers like u mobile maxis tune talk so many sim providers are there you can buy based on your convenience and number of stays one more important thing For, there are two airports in Kuala Lumpur KLA1 and KLA2 most of the expensive flights will be coming to KLA1 air asia like these kind of flights will be coming to KLA2 then you can take train or you can take bus or you can book grab also once you get the phone number you can register with grab and you can book grab car to your location also option is yours all this informations are shared based on my small knowledge if anything you know extra please add in the comment one more info your tourist e visa have validity of 3 months in that three months you can any time travel to malaysia once you enter the malaysian immigration your number of days stay is only 30 days if the immigration people are stopping you and sending you to the interview room immediately inform to the person who is waiting to receive you in the airport or to your close circle who will take action what kind of action can be taken in 2016 only i came to know what is the solution for this in case if this happens outside of the airport there will be a police station if the malaysian citizen is giving some assurance that the person has come to visit me and if they are giving assurance they will leave the person to enter malaysia it looks very simple but without this knowledge, malaysia i struggle a lot people who have money and power will not face this kind of issue if you are a common man traveling to another country might face some challenges only the knowledge about this can save us if this is not happening to you i am very happy now we are in malaysia many videos will be coming soon thanks for your support and many tamil audience in english channel has commented
want you speak in tamil like that we have a separate channel for tamil as well it's e to jo tamil both the channels you can watch let's do more valuable videos let's see you all in another interesting video yours e to jo bye